So we could just talk shit about fat people all day, right? Dude. <laughs> That's Japan, right? <laughs> That's fine. We can talk about this all day. This is this is okay. <laughs> <laughs> so okay subject. The subject became okay. The subject became okay. Because it's 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 a fact. It's, so people are getting fired for it. People are getting fired for it. Like they're losing their job because they're there's a minimum requirement. <laughs> it's, it's fucking hilarious. That's the wildest thing. It's it's been a long time. God, America's so soft. <laughs> so soft. <laughs> uh, just... Uh, what happened to me? What happened to my favorite country? <laughs> what happened to my favorite country? Are we so queuing soft. up? Are we queuing or not queuing? Are, we, are you in the group yet? Yeah, I've been in the group. Bullshit. If, if not, if not, it's Japanese time. <sighs> okay, let's go. What do you want to play? We're going to Platinum. Or did you forget? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. All right. Pick a roll that you want to not lose. <laughs> These are the ones I need placement matches for. Two, 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 two. Let me see. Um, do I have to charge anything here? What do I have in the bag? I didn't read today. That's fine. I'll do more tomorrow. Um, questions. That's right. I have to work on my questions. Answers. God damn it, son of a bitch. What are, you, what are you doing? I dropped an egg. Yeah, that's pretty wack. <laughs> <laughs> like, I literally can't argue. Like, it's wet. You can't just clean it up. You can't just pick it up. Yeah. It's wet. So I was like, what is the problem, my dude? Like, what would get you that? Uh, oh. <laughs> I was like, I ain't gonna lie. That would get me angry. Like, it happened, and then I was just watching it spread out in slow motion. Like, Fuck! That is the worst when it's in slow motion. It's, like, the absolute worst. I have to clean the floor. It's not how I wanted to spend my day. I wanted 0% floor cleaning today. <laughs> I thought you had floor cleaner over there. Well, that, was not right. part, that was not part of the deal. <laughs> that was the stipulation. No. <laughs> Frankly, I'm a little worried to wager any more on that. <laughs> that was like, you don't want to, it's like, there's already, a, it, there's, a, there's already kind of like a fine-tuned balance to it. <laughs> yeah, it's, just, it's fine the way it is right now. <laughs> it's just, because we all know what happens when you, when you uh, start messing with the details of the contract. Don't mess with success. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's like, a very oh. American thing. It's like, oh, so you want to add something, huh? <laughs> All right, well, that's going to put us into this bracket where these are what's going to have to happen. Jesus. It's like, so, you're writing stuff, so can I. <laughs> You know what I mean, woman? You know what I mean. Pass. Pass on that entire experience. <laughs> it's like, oh, so we're adding stuff, huh? We're adding stuff, are we? Like, you're like, ooh. Because <laughs> if we're adding stuff, I may have some stuff I'd like to add myself. <laughs> As well. Yep. <laughs> you can play that game. Ha ha ha. Oh, that's funny. Because it's true. Exactly. Exactly that. Oh, man. Okay. I need the questions. Okay. Oh, I thought that would be okay, but apparently it wasn't. Yeah. Damn, did we get a game yet? What no. the fuck is this? It's like a 
one egg. I've never had just one egg before. Just one. You don't want to put a second one? Because you already committed it to the floor. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, partially that. You have a rhythm? It has to be two every day. You, you can't afford it. Yeah, it was two every day, and I was like, you know, one is really sad. <laughs> That's why you scramble it and add some milk. <clears throat> yeah, I'm right. That's the best way. That's what happened when I, that was the first thing I taught Brandon long time ago when he was like, we only have like two eggs. And I was like, watch this. Because <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to feed all his brothers and I was like, watch this. He was like, dang, you just put milk in there. Just scramble it. And I was like, yep. Yep. It makes it fluffy. It makes it fluffy. Don't put too much. But it turns out white. You just got to put just enough where it looks like there's a grip. <laughs> <laughs> but not not too much where it looks like cereal. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like there's that there's that threshold. You know what I'm saying? There's like a threshold. I do bitch. know. It's like we got milk. Watch this. He was like, whoa, and I'm like, yep. And then you you can't use a fork. You have to use a beater. Like you really got to go to town. Yeah. Yeah, I thought about getting a beater, and I was like, nah. It's fine. Yeah, you should be you should you should be good. But I was like, you know, he, had, he had a beater in his house. So I was like, kick this out, man. I was like, you really got to beat it up. Like, you can't use a fork. <laughs> I'm like, I was like, if you're going to do this, you got to do it right. Uh -huh. Funny how that's a reoccurring fucking theme in this world. <laughs> I was like, do you want it done fast or do you want it done right? You want it done fast or you want it done right? <laughs> oh, poor Hank, yo. You hear that, Bobby? You could be part of a system. <laughs> I just love, I love the fact that Bobby can shoot and Hank can't. <laughs> Dude, there's there's so many funny little things in that fucking show. Like, um, <laughs> like, do you remember the episode where Bobby had like a Greenpeace teacher or whatever that was using history as a platform to teach, you know, global warming and all that bullshit? Go ahead. I think I do. <clears throat> yeah, so that episode starts off with uh, Boomhauer waxing his car, right? Yeah. And um, <clears throat> Bobby goes, hey, in front of his dad. He goes, hey, is that a 1969 whatever? And Hank goes, wow, Bobby, good eye. Are you getting the classic cars? And then he goes, no, that's one of the worst pollutions ever. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember yeah, dude. and like the show is filled with little things like that where they raise Hank's hopes up just to immediately dash them in the worst way possible, yeah. also most unexpected way possible. I love the I love when they do like the little the little things in the show where you just have to know, like if you didn't watch the show at all, like it wouldn't be hilarious. Like, remember when Lady Bird got lost in the forest, <laughs> right? <laughs> and then like they uh and then everybody assumed the when there was a dog. That uh, the dog was going crazy, and we they yeah, all it was the rabies one where uh, rabies Bobby one. had the pet raccoon. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that one. <laughs> and then, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then and then Hank was like, was like, I'm gonna have to put Lady Bird down, and with my aim, I have to <laughs> shoot him twice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, with my aim, I'm gonna have to shoot her twice. I was like, damn, dude, for real. <laughs> I just love yeah, the that was pretty good. <laughs> also in that episode, um, he calls up the park. Um, no, he calls up animal control. And he's like, hey, I lost my dog at the park. She might have rabies, so be careful. And, and when you call her, go, Lady Bird. <laughs> I remember that one. He that goes up and, Miss, like, no, no, say, uh, say, Mr. Say Hill, it. if your dog appears to be rabid, we're going to have to put it down. We're going to have to put Lady Bird down. Oh, I, I mean... Lady Bird! <laughs> this show's so good. It's ridiculous. Go. Too fucking close to me.
Are you there? Yeah, what's up? Your camera's not on, so I couldn't. I didn't know if you're there or not. Oh, I'm there. Yeah, I'm streaming us, and I'm streaming you too, or a portrait of us. Which is funny. I like it because you and I are the only one who uses our face in Discord, and in, <laughs> and and, and uh, Chong Wang. But I just I just like the fact that like oh Chong Wang's pictures. It's it's kind of silly because yeah, it's like he has, girl now, right? It's yeah. Versus like it's for me and you, it's always just us. <laughs> and it and, and in my head sometimes, it kind of just demonstrates that like this is who I am, like this is who it is. <laughs> like I'm, I understand people want to express themselves with whatever, cats or, you know, whatever flip they want to be. What? But I was like, this is. Oh, yeah. I like, I, I, it's funny because when I have the face I'm using, I show that to a lot of girls in the past and they're like, that guy's so cute. And I'm like, that's me. They're like, what? <laughs> and I was like, I'm like, y'all shallow? You guys are so shallow. I don't even have the Discord app open. You're not missing out. No, we should have played another game while waiting for this game. What's a game that we could play? Couldn't we play Warhammer in between this? Could play Furies. What? Could we play like Warhammer, the tabletop one? While we're waiting for games and shit? Mm, well, we went down that. We went down that road. Remember that time? Yeah, and we're still not done going down that road. I bought the damn thing, and I got to read the damn book. But I know, right? Yeah, so I'm just like, that's what I'm saying. Like, we could do that while play, waiting for this, right? Like, it'd be a back and forth thing. Hypothetically, yeah. Okay, okay. So we could still entertain the idea. I'm not done with it. Because <clears throat> I'm down. I seriously want to play it. Like... <clears throat> Magic, oh, uh, right. magic's getting a little weird. I don't like seeing myself like five seconds after I do something. Oh, yeah, I see it. <laughs> Watch, it's funny because I'm, I'm watching you do it twice. <laughs> it's like a delay. Like oh, no. it, it's like a mirror. It's weird. It's like I'm watching you do the same thing twice, and I don't know which one's which sometimes. <laughs> What's up, Chain Wax? Fake news. I know, right? Yo, hey, my man. I I uh, I was gonna hit you up. I needed to I needed to record some raps. This is for real. It's not a joke. <laughs> don't don't laugh. I was I wanted to record <laughs> some raps because you know Chain, Chain Wax makes music. This dude this dude's a this dude's a musician, so so I wanted to to rec what what program do I use to record my voice and the soundtrack together? What do I what do I what, is there a free one? I just want the the hobby one, my dude. <laughs> I ain't trying to spend no money. And what's up, by the way? I'm trying to record some raps. No, I ain't. I'm not a rapper. Oh, dang. Well, try. Try to record some raps here. I have a new Hot Fire album. I want people to hear it. I'll check out my my uh, my mix mix my SoundCloud link. Computer mass. All right, I'll hit up Azro. Just check out my SoundCloud, okay? Here's my SoundCloud link, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> got, got my raps. <clears throat> he makes music. He uses Ableton? Ableton, fine. Ableton is not for you. You should be using Reaper. Isn't that the one you use? 
Exactly. Yeah, that's awesome. He's Ableton. He's not free. He's like, you are familiar. Fucking Christ, as soon as I pick up the guitar. They don't want you to play. You can't have it! Oh god. Good. It's an underrated movie. For reals? It's like, you can't have it. This is privatized world peace. What's up? What's up, y'all? He's like, to peace. Oh, no, that's the first one. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's adorable when the Japanese girl tries to pronounce R.E.J. <laughs> She's like, we don't put the Downey Jr. And I was like, it's pretty funny. Say it again. Uh-oh. 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 Uh-oh.
it's my hobby's hobby. Does that make sense? <laughs> Coming in unless I like Ryan Shields left. Like, where you see that Reinhardt at? I don't see him anywhere yet. There's a Zarya in the middle. I see her. Oh, they're, okay, up they're, they're, in they're the both, they're both in the middle. They're all in the middle. They're all in the middle. He lures down. He lures down. Doomfist flanking. Doomfist, Doomfist, Doomfist flanking. Nice. Got him. He missed, he missed, he missed, he missed. He's caught, he's caught, he's caught. Hell yeah, nice focus. That was a weird ult. Behind, behind, behind. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Doomfist coming around. He's gonna flank you, woman. He's like... <laughs> they used like four alts fine. there. It's like. Fine. Good focus. That was a good focus, Deeps. <laughs> You're gonna have to show me how to reach tabletop sometime. Yeah, for show. Would be better with stronger healers. Boom! <laughs> like, that would work a little bit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Two for onesies. Yeah, man. What you want to play on there? You want? We could just play regular poker. We just play some regular board games, man. Keep it easy. Keep it saucy. Left side, thanks. Nope. Nice, nice, nice. Dupe is up. It's like. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Get out the way from that Zen. Oh, yeah, we are going to play Warhammer. Are you, are you down to play? You you, you want to get down on this chain? The more The more the merrier. Uh, not Warhammer. Warhammer 40k. Warhammer 40k. Warhammer 40k. <laughs> There's a package that you'd have to download here. It's a free download, I believe. Yeah, yeah, all of it's free. There's like a Discord server for it. Uh, okay, let's go. I'm gonna sim down the middle. Not this time. I don't want to look it up. But next time. Alright, for sure. They simmed also. Like. 
Nice, nice. Ah, uh, got destroyed. I hope that helped a little bit. It sure did. Yeah. I melted Diva and she didn't even know it. I'm like, they did the same they did the same trick. I'm like, they did the same trick, my dude. They're like, man, we trying to win. <laughs> now everybody knows that trick. It's a popular one. Switch the Hanzo flick. Uh. Ah, <laughs> uh, your thing got destroyed. Damn, they're tired. <laughs> they're like, that's gotta go. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. All right, group it, group it. Chance here, we have a chance here. Yeah, we got it. Together, guys, together, for sake. Uh, we don't need a Lucio here, I think. Wow, what a catch! Okay, we're switching. Who's a good guy here? This could work. Oh, what the fuck? The fuck kind of lo fucking Lucio, you piece of shit. Fucking. He booped Ryan into charging me. What a jerk. Oh. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Where's it? Don't die. Fucking Lucio. Just fucking through the game. <sighs> he booped you and he booped him into you. He booped Ryan into me for no fucking reason. Nobody was, you know, at risk. Uh, at least we got people on point. Yeah. Oh, he saved himself. What a jerk. Can't fucking do anything. What? Kind Dude, of I want to scream at that Lucio oh so my. fucking bad. What kind of move was that? Thank God that guy is doing the thing. <clears throat> I know, right? Fucking hamster ball. Yeah. And nobody's on point. Oh, fucking idiot. guys! <clears throat> the tabletop is like ten bucks or something. 
five, six, ten, five, six bucks. Fuck Lucio, man. Oh, Fucking it. useless healer. You oh, fucked up the whole goddamn game. Ugh. That was pretty wack. <laughs> Dr. String fucking cheese. Oh, that's right, I had cheese. This is the last time you had string cheese. No, no, in California, like one a long time ago, probably like 2014. <clears throat> like, I like string cheese when I get to pull it. Do you pull it, or do you just take a bite out of crime? Of course. <laughs> no, I pull it. it. Tastes better that way. <laughs> it's funny because you know exactly where that goes from. See this guy? So I'm baked and having fun on quick play. Come visit my stream, please. Did someone say that? The general chat. Yeah. Uh huh. No, people are so desperate for viewers. It's crazy. You know? It's just like if you're asking for viewers, you probably don't deserve them. That's just that's just how that works. <laughs> no, right. You know, like the concept of entertainment really really is it's difficult for people to fathom it's like guys like that's what content's all about <laughs> you know like my content wasn't designed for entertainment it was designed for education that's it, it was, like it's literally what it is Content only, only runs two ways, education or entertainment, and a lot of people get confused. You know, if you could make your entertainment educating, or if you can make your education entertaining, like, this is either one, right? Like, it's just what it is. It's like, I teach people how to play Magic the Gathering for free. You know, that's, that's a cool thing. When people are popping up, they're like, what? How much money? Someone asked me that question yesterday. Like, how much did you spend on this game? I was like, dude, zero dollars. I was like, for real, I hit Mythic a few times. <laughs> you know, it was great. It was cool. And then after that, I got super flood and it didn't matter anymore. I'm so glad I got it, though. Jeez. <laughs> it's a good game, though, right? Magic the Gather. I would say Arena is not a good game. Uh, Magic the Gathering, like as a whole, there are pieces of it that are really good. There are pieces of it that are really good. Like, like Popper is really fun. Uh, there's a, a couple of formats. Different formats are very, very fun. But overall, like standard Type 2, I think is just very sad. I think standard or type two is just not, it's just not good. Like it's just not yeah. good. It's just not good at all. Um, and you know, I, I I've been trying to tell this to DLM or anybody else who 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 thinks I'm crazy. I tell everybody all the time, man. Like these these, the people who invent this game got got mortgages. You know, like they're not gonna they're not gonna make a product that fails. Like that's not gonna happen. So as long as as uh, as the focus groups. <laughs> And the people like the big explosions and the fancy shit and the things that trend like as long as that's paying the, the bills they're going to make that and it's sad but it's true like they're not making the game because of passion i promise you they're making the game because it because of money like they just need to make money right and they're just wasting their money on 
you know honestly their advertising is is oh is way over the top yeah. you know, it's like who are you advertising to the people who are already buying the game like guys relax you know it's like you're not going to convince people who who've seen magic the gathering to play magic the gathering like that's not that's your conversion you know like that's where it really is you know like that uh you know, and because of how accessible Magic the Gathering Arena is, it made the game like, mm -hmm. really strange. It flooded a, the whole meta with a handful of people who, like, get excited over these, like, super silly cars that they're not going to ban because it's making the game money. Like, it's ridiculous. You know, so I'd rather play Historic or I'd rather play other formats that I'd have fun with. And I'd rather play with human beings because now I don't even know who I'm playing. <laughs> You know, like, it's so ridiculous. I might just switch to online. Because at least then you, there's a chat box. You get to talk to the person. You know, I guess one of my favorite things. So, is, like, are people doing bots and shit? Well, there was this guy on Reddit a few months ago who... All he did was he just played every card on his right. And he hit Mythic. It was crazy. He had, he had videos and all sorts of stuff. And then he yeah. was just like, he was just like, guys, like, like the ladder isn't about skill. It's literally about time and grinding. And I completely agree. You know, so it's just like, now you have an abundance of people playing all the good decks in Magic the Gathering. And you're like, someone here is bound to get lucky. Someone here is bound to not get lucky. And that's just like the roll of the dice. And the worst part is you're going to have good players and bad players. That's why you just need to like grind it out to the top. And like, try best not to lose that spot for the money. That's if you're taking it seriously. And even then, it's like, yeah, you know, you know like, then you gotta like commit a piece of time to do this. You know, and it's like I'm good. Like standard is not entertaining me. It's just crazy. It's just really crazy. In the last world, no, that's pretty wild. Yeah, and then the last world's event that just happened, the guy. So worlds got split into like two different events. There's the draft day. And then there's a constructed day. So the guy who, mm -hmm. who won the construction portion, he was, um, he had, what do you call this? He went, he went like 05 in the draft. Like, dude scrubbed out hard. Then he won on constructed. It was sick. Unpopular opinion. If Yu-Gi-Oh! didn't completely destroy flow of the game, it would have definitely, it would have dethroned Magic as GOAT. Oh, wow. That would, that's a, that's a huge one. That's a really big unpopular opinion. Hmm, interesting. That's an interesting um, idea. I don't know. I, I haven't played enough Yu-Gi-Oh! to to know if that if like what 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 dethroning the <coughs> the dethroning the goat conversation would be. I don't I don't know enough information. You know, because I don't if I if I talk about Magic the Gathering as a good game or as a viable game or as a game that that I would share, right? Like that's that's why you play games, right? You, you like originally I learned to play Magic the Gathering with friends. That's it. Like that's literally what I did. And then I was playing it in school because I, all my friends were at school and all those fools had cards and that's how I played it. You know, it, it wasn't until you wanted to compete that separated the the, the fun casual level to the competition level and then when you're in the competitive scene you're in a whole different like you're in the competitive scene like that's just like what it is like you're going to be with people who are good you're going to people who want this you're going to people who are doing this as their career like there's going to be like a list of people who are here and then you're then you're going to have your casuals and people are here for fun people are here too because you know someone there's somebody else's right you know you have all those too so you have that, right? And Magic the Gathering has been those two. Like, people playing for fun, and then people playing, you know, professionally. Or tournament scene. So, I know eventually other card games had to come to existence. Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh!, Digimon, Leech, whatever. All these other card games. World of Warcraft card game. Uno, you know? Everyone wanted to be a champion somewhere. However, Magic the Gathering was the first game to do it as a card game. Right, like the, it was the first card game to have a gravy trade, a first card game to have a hall of fame, a first card game 
like literally the accolades of it being the first in everything will crush every other game that will ever come after Magic the Gathering. Like, just because. And it just fell off that horse, like, in the, like, right after 2010, you know, because the, the company, you know, after Wizards of the Coast got bought out, they started to change their, change hands, they started to add more advertising, they started to just change the game, you know, they started to follow trends, they started to do what businesses do. You see, like as soon as a game turns into a business, we all can recognize what's going to happen next, right? Like this is just like logically, right? Like imagine if you played a game, right? I guess I can say that the same with Magic. They just, they just invent cards types, weird mechanics. It's true because it's just, they're just trying to find like the fireworks. That's it. That's all. It's a, that's whatever. Like they said it very well in the um, Le LeBron James said it very well for the NBA. Okay, he said whatever got whatever gets the white girls hype. Okay, because right now everybody in the NBA likes uh, the three points, the three pointer, and like it, the new NBA is all about it. And everybody is getting so excited for this three point shots when there's like no strategy. It's like literally you get the ball, you run up to the three point line, and you shoot. And by math, advanced stats literally tells you that you have a higher chance of winning. You have a higher chance of making a shot. It's like under 33% by just like attempting these three-point shots. And you'd rather commit to getting an extra third point than like straight up getting a, um, a free, easy layup, right? And it's like so ridiculous because of advanced stats. We know 10 years ago... You would, you're supposed to lay it up, but then now you're supposed to make the three-point shot because you want that extra point. Because now the NBA is all about making offensive plays and not about defense. And I really don't know what happened to sports when we all forgot about defense all of a sudden. <laughs> like, that's really weird. Like, we don't teach children the fundamentals of defense. <laughs> I guess I could say the same. What's the question mark for, Chain? They do. They just invent straight up weird card mechanics because they just want people to feel excited all the time. You know, that's it. They just want people to feel excited. Like they spent their money to get a new shiny thing. That's what it is. That's what it is. They're taking now they're doing this really dumb thing where they're like like they're running out of ideas because they're putting like they're taking old mechanics and putting them together, giving a new name right or they're just taking this old mechanic and they're changing like instead of being at the beginning of your upkeep they put at the end of your turn i was like guys <laughs> what are you doing what are you doing it's like stop they should just have like two set different sets of magic they should have magic for just like for fun and magic for real like that would be really cool that would be a cool way of playing the game <laughs> like like hey guys we have magic for fun, and we have magic for real. <laughs> right? Like, that. Like imagine. Imagine if a card game said that. Because then, in the magic for fun, you could make up whatever. You could do whatever you want. <laughs> like, that'd be super dope. And then the magic for they real... They did have that. Which one? What was that special set called? The one that was literally full of jokes? Unglued? Unglued, that's right. Magic for fun. Right, you could rip up cards. So yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh did the same. You always had the gimmicks, Zodia, but now the basic ways of using trap spells, monsters, and straight in your face. But now Yu-Gi-Oh game can end in two turns. Yeah, man, I've been seeing that, dude. People have been complaining about all these, like, the mechanics of the game has, like, totally card spam to get your win condition. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. Like, they just, they're just trying to, like, push people to just win like there's no patience anymore it's so ridiculous the part the, the par the power curve they call it in magic it's current that's the vocabulary they're using the power curve or the power creep i believe is so ridiculous like there's this there's this there's this instagram i follow uh, i follow a few magic instagrams and they're very key because i don't follow a lot of other magic instagrams because you know you're gonna trend with a lot of them and one of them is this guy who's comparing old cards and new cards that do the exact same thing, but have different mana costs, and it's like hilarious because it's like, look at the power creep. It's like here's in in two thousand two there was a four mana, 
for a 4-5 blue creature. And then in 2011, or 2021, there's a 1 blue mana for a 4-5. It's like, these, these are the same cards, guys. <laughs> it's like... Mario is believing in the heart of your cards and luck. How ironic. That is pretty hard. That is ironic. Did we get a game yet? Nope, we're at 14 minutes. Holy shit. Yep, and I got my little priority pass and everything. I know, right? You want to swap out of this? I'll just go, uh... Flex roll. Yeah, if you want, man. It's up to you. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Alright, dude, I'm gonna use the bathroom. Let's flex it out. Let's go. Fuck this. Let's play open cube. Should I just take, should I just take the luggage? It seems smarter if I take the luggage. Let me check the bumble. Oh, should I check the bumble? That's not bumble. Did I get any messages? Oh, snap! I did. <laughs> so exciting! Hajime Mashite. Thirty-five years old, huh? I'm looking for a person who can spend rest of my life sharing a calm and fun time. <laughs> okay. Okay, you look. Calm and fun time, huh? What do you think she was doing to not have a calm and fun time beforehand? God damn, these are some lazy models. You look cuter when you're not smiling. That's weird. That's a weird thing to say. <laughs> hey, did you text me? That's weird. What a weird time. What a weird time. My profile. Who is this? Damn, I look good in this picture. I know, I know. Red flags! <laughs> Jane, you put some red flags! No, she's 35 years old. I think it's all good. <laughs> I'll, need, 
I put in my thing. I was like, I'm only dating 30 year olds <laughs> because 20 year olds are irresponsible. And I've been getting a lot of messages from 20 year olds that I've been, that's a mean thing to say. And I was like, you know, it's funny. That's what it, I would respond. True. You know, what's funny is that that's what an irresponsible person would say. <laughs> <laughs> what's up, Sue? Hey, you want to you want to jump in or are you hanging out? With the games, we were uh, we were supposed to win. Why are we always supposed to win a game and just don't? <laughs> I was doing it. I was doing a good job. Mm-hmm. I did my part. Like the alien in Star Wars, it's a trap. It probably is a trap, but she's you know she's she's Nihonjin. She's she's Japanese, so it's a little different out here. So just a little bit. Everything you know about dating in America is totally flipped in Japan. It's ridiculous. Like everything I thought, I was like, wait, what? Like this is the strangest stuff. Vocabulary is different. Insults are different. Like timing is different. What you pay for is different. Like commitments are different. It's crazy. I was like, what? <laughs> Let me see. You're wanting to play with me? If I'm invited, then sure. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you invite, why not? We need some pro players, man. Because I'm a scrub. And this dude, this dude can't carry me anymore. He's been carrying me so damn long. Okay, Sue's on. Do you, are, you off, are you friends with Sue? Uh, I think so. You gotta, you gotta, oh, I gotta do it. Oh, I can't do it. You gotta do it. Yeah, give me one second here. Yeah, I'm having a rough day mentally. I can use a distraction, some kindness, appreciate the invite. Hey, it's all good. You can always text me, I'm good at, I'm good, I practice the kindness. It's weird. Ha. Huh. I do have practice. <laughs> it's a hard thing to practice, huh. but I do. Okay. I'd rather be single. That sounds like too many I'm rules. not friends. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. You're the group leader now, woman. Man, I saw it. <clears throat> I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. It's, it's like... No, no. Being single is cool now. Being single back when... Back when it was... I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm in a weird part of my life when it comes to that. Woman, you gotta pick the rule. You know, it's, it's, it's like, I'm, I feel way better being single now than I've ever been in my life. It's sick. It's sick. They won't let me tank or support. Well, looks like you go going eat it up. We're here for a while. We're here for a long haul. Um, I my student told me she wanted to work at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Just say no. I know, but she's... She pays a lot. Anytime someone... Oh, she's the pretty one. They're all pretty ones. <laughs> I told you about this. <laughs> they are, dude. Like, I have a lot of pretty young women students. It's ridiculous. And then the n number one comment I get, it's like, Spencer, you don't hit on me. And I was like, that's a weird thing for us to talk about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's like you're the only te the good teacher that hit on me. And I was like, I don't know why this trend keeps coming up. <laughs> What's my SR? It's terrible. My, my SR is awful. We're not going to ask that question. I think okay. it's embarrassing is what that is. It's embarrassing. I can't spell it. I can't spell it. I can't spell it. Yeah, but anytime anyone books me or prefers, yeah books me out of uh, my scheduled hours, I charge them more. Rightfully so. This is my time. The fuck is A54? God, I hate this shit. I hate it so much. I still got a place. I only play two hours a day. Barely. <laughs> Who's Japanese girls? We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, only only Japanese girls who text me are the thirty year olds, and they and then we're we're having some pretty, like not heavy or serious conversation, but the conversations are way more focused than when I talk to like the twenty year olds. All, right, all the twenty year old girls is like, 
want to hang out, go to the beach, take a bunch of pictures. And then I'm like, Ew, really? This sounds like I'm paying for a lot of shit. <laughs> right? That's just what it sounds like. That's just what it sounds like. Versus like I'm talking to these like, you know, these uh, these 30 year olds are like, yeah, so. <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah, so. Um, it looks like, I'm like, like, what are you about? Like, you still, like, you still look like this in your 30s? And I was like, kind of. You got a game, right? No, no, this is a death match. Okay. Because your 20s is all about exploration, discovering the world. You know, this is getting exciting. I have people to talk to in the chat, so I'm going to stop working on my questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm doing tomorrow is Sunday, right? So I haven't had any issues queuing up with them. That's good defense, thanks. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, you know, I, I have a, a personal podcast and I'm like recording like people and I'm like making like very like thoughtful questions. You know? It's just interesting because like with this newfound ability that like I taught myself, I'm like very, very, very thoughtful in my approach and how I ask certain questions. It feels very good. <clears throat> hey, he liked my blog post. What a chat. Being in a relationship, in my honest, in my opinion, is like having children. There are some magical Sounds like a terrible relationship. You can't enjoy without them, but also some sacrifices have to be made. Yeah, I know in relationships, as I'm, especially as I'm getting older, it's about like, um, what do you call this? Like compromises. Compromise. Yeah. Compromises. And I was talking about this with my, my friend Serlo, like, we should have recorded it. It was such a, it was a really interesting, it was such a good conversation. Like, it was ridiculous. That should have been the podcast right there. So, he, um, he, he was discussing how he just didn't want to have kids, like, forever. And then, you know, yep. his, yeah, and then his last girlfriend that he was with, she was, like, committed. She's like, I want to have children. That's what's going to happen. And so, I was like, I'm not, I'm not down. Like, that's not going to happen. And they split up. Then the, his following girlfriend essentially did the same thing and then he was like yes <laughs> then <laughs> yeah you know what do you mean what is not enough you date how many people you date right now sue well what are you talking about children <laughs> talk about children relationships it's oh yeah child i'm just playing i have um so i have this surgeon that i work with one of my one of my high level students and he got out, he, he is divorced, and all we talk about is his divorce and his um, his practice, his children, right? <laughs> That's rich. It's That's funny, rich, yeah. it's funny because he has he had a first kid, then his second wife, and, and he always put, he always like, he lets it be known, she's younger. <laughs> like, it's just comedy, right? Younger, more youthful. But you always have to pay off the first wife, right? He was like, he's like, he's like Spencer. You know the best thing about getting married is that you can always get married again. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, huh? He's like, one is not enough. Divorcing my ex-wife was the best decision you ever made. You see that? That's why I was thinking about getting married, just okay. to be like, I did it, and then be like, okay, that didn't work out. Then you learn. You know, all I know is this is what I've been telling, this is what I've been telling my students when they, when, when students ask me, Spencer, why aren't you married? And I tell them, Jeff Bezos, okay, Bill Gates and Elon Musk have all divorced their wife. And these three are the richest men on the planet. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
Like, if these three mm-hmm. dudes couldn't keep it together with their wife, and these are the richest men on earth, like, there's no, like, for reals, right? And I was like, there it is. Like, I was telling people, like, yo, like, honestly, it, it wasn't the money. <laughs> So you better find somebody that you can get along with and do the thing with. Because if you can't, then you're going to have a bad time. This is what it is. Yeah, as definitely soon as, experiencing that. As soon as, literally, as soon as, as I found, when, when Bill and Melinda Gates, everybody thought they were going to the grave together. Everybody thought that. Like, for real, everybody thought that was game. They're like, that's it. Right? I'm sure they're friends. But like, they're no longer in the they, like they don't they don't need that part of their lives and they're, they're not each other's lives for that. You know, it's like there it is, and then Elon Musk is d- yeah. divorcing, and I was like, well, there it goes. So that's pretty much my my conversation where I tell that to students. Why aren't you married? And I was like, well, you know, I'm trying to find somebody who likes me for me. That's a hard thing. <laughs> I was like. And, you know, the students are giggling. And I was like, yeah, first of all, y'all don't know me. Second of all, my friends barely tolerate me. <laughs> you know, it's like my friends are on the on the fence, trust. <laughs> like At any given time, my friends can literally be like, uh, Spencer, I'm done with you. <laughs> you know? And I'm like, okay, well, then there it is. I learned a lot about what I do and don't want in a relationship thanks to her, though silver lining i guess no that's the whole point that's the whole point of 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 dating is to know what you want right like it's literally the definition and i told that to um so like when i i don't take cute pictures so when i'm on bumble or tinder or whatever like it doesn't work out but every single time i sit down with a random japanese girl pretty not pretty high social status low doesn't matter like they just fall off their chair laughing and they're like spencer like it's unbelievable that you're single like you have a great personality like you're a fun guy and i tell them yeah so, <laughs> yeah yeah like literally like, <laughs> like, like the, the students are women they tell me this yeah so unbelievable and i tell them i was like yeah it's like i tell them all the time i was like my my personality is very advanced and i'm trying to look for somebody that's that matches like what i'm about like what i'm about it's like you know it's really difficult to find that like i'm a person who doesn't take no for an answer like i'm a person who like fails at everything and doesn't give up like i'm a person who doesn't sleep i like to do things you know like good luck trying to find this human being because i tell everybody all the time like the person i'm looking for is probably not looking for me right now you know it's probably the truth it's probably working she's probably streaming too i don't fucking know what she's doing but she's doing something and when i meet her whatever she's doing it's going to be great but until then i have a business to build i have students to teach and i have a life i have to live like there it is you know that's for me that's my silver lining you know like i i just found a a new stroke (laughs) you know a new stroke of genius here and i was like i'm gonna write it out you know by the way Check out ACL Podcast. That's anchor.com, uh, anchor.fm slash uh, uh, anyone dash can dash learn. That's the plug. But yeah, you know, I'm just going to keep up. Like, you know, I tell people all the time, you know, I came to a point in my job where no one asked me what I do on the weekend because everybody knows the answer. <laughs> They're like, Spencer, what are you doing the weekend? And I'm like, oh, you must be new. I was like, I work seven days a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said that straight up because everybody else in the classroom laughs. And I was like, you must be new. And I was like, I was like, I'm working. They're like, oh, uh, what do you do after work? I was like, I go to work. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, what? And I was like, yeah. And I was like, in my little bit of free time, I play video games on the internet with my friend. And you can watch it. <laughs> and they're like, for real? I was like, yep. Play Overwatch and eat noodles. Hell yeah. That's it. That's all I do. I just, I tell them all the time. I was like, I work, I work to work. I just submitted another article today. It's going to get into 10 bucks. I'm going to do, I'm doing two tomorrow. It's $20. Oh God. I accidentally typed 500 words and I was like, I'm just going to stop. (laughs) Because it's 500 to 700 words and they're paying me $11. (laughs) Tax free. Yep. Right on. I was like, cool. I was just typing and I was like, 
I was like, I was just talking about the ramen. I just took, a, I just ate ramen, took a bunch of pictures, and I was just typing. This ramen's pretty good. I thought it was pretty tasty. The room, this environment's nice. It's this chromatic. It's white. The, the, the yellow. The, 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 the machine. is tick machine. I ordered a spice ramen. It was really cool. They have a website. Here's the thing. I was like, whoa, damn, we're at 600 words. Shit. <laughs> I was like, we better stop here. They're only, they're only paying for five. You shouldn't add more. <laughs> It's like five to seven. What is it? What does it mean to you? What are the steps? What are some of the sacrifices? You what are the straits you find in someone? Can everyone be on? Listen to what inspires you, who inspires you, who slash what inspires you, do you have going to interview so many people I'm just not going to interview you <laughs> oh damn we got a game <laughs> what? What? no way yeah no, did you hear I'm going to interview so many people I'm just not going to interview you <laughs> it's like you shouldn't you should know better I know that's why I'm not What's up, y'all? Should, should I bring my luggage to my house? Awesome. Big luggage. <laughs> hey, Bastion, can you switch? No, I don't know how. Bastion, can you, like, switch it up a little bit? Yeah, I'm telling you, my H key doesn't work. Bastion, can you uh, do the thing? <laughs> Ashley, can you uh, switch it? Switch your route? Who's that? What's our tanks? I guess. We have tanks? Since when? <laughs> we kind of have a tank. Are you getting lag, man? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I just know. No? Just... Not lagging at all? I got a Pharaoh. Fair, fair. Like... Fair on the ground, fair on the ground. Three. Anzo. Anzo on the left, fair. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, 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 nice. It's like... This this um this this dude's uncontested like a mug, dude. Yep, I'm dead. <clears throat> Where's I am? Where are you at? At the top. Take the elevator up. No, I'm ready. Okay. Oh crap! One sec. Like, I was like, oh crap. Pretty funny. Farah and uh, Hanzo were just focusing me, so I don't know what everyone else is doing.
I jumped down. The tanks are both down there. The uh, Hans was just on me. Which is fine, but other people need to be doing other shit. Oh, he got me on the way down. It's like, five people, man. Fuck, what is everyone else doing? Oh, no, man. I was with you. I was with you. Oh, no. Oh. 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 Trigger can only do so much. Oh, that purple was gross. Yeah, that purple was nasty. That Anna is hitting purples, my man. Yeah, yeah. Telling me, it's like oh, what? I thought you were still up there. I don't know, Sue. You tell me. I was like, I was like, what the fuck kind of weird lag? I need to turn this stream off. Yeah, I don't know. You know, like, I couldn't even sit down to put damage out. You know, uh, as soon as I did, five people would turn around and smack me. Is it heels, tanks, what? I think it's tanks. I don't know. Uh, my heels are dope. I'm doing the heel thing. I mean, I'm... I mean, yeah. I mean, are y'all getting some, some, some nanos? I mean, I don't know. tell you I couldn't tell you I think we just keep our tanks like together let's keep them up front it's like let's stick with the tanks we'll stay we'll stay with these tanks here I was like, let's just stick behind them just set up behind them if you can Wait, wait, purple, purple. See? Like the, uh... <laughs> that Zenyatta is gonna pull a lot of deeps. Five seconds on rest. Why does this guy not like shields?
I have all we can make a play here. It's like Echo up and over. That? Really <clears throat> just shooting in the dark. Oh crap. Shield tanks, those are the tanks down. Go, 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 go. They have one more tank focus. It's getting rest. Wow. It's getting rest. Wow, she bubbled him. Nice tanks back down. You're down three. Let's get on. Uh. Yo, bitch ass. Thank you. That. You guys are purple, for sake. They fucking with you up there? A little bit. There's three. There's three on top. Three on top, for sake. I got you, too, Zeke. Thirteen seconds on res, kind of. It's like, the fuck? Where is everyone? I don't know. We were we were all split up there. We're all split up, man. We come and get back to the. Like, Jesus fucking Christ! And we were split up in that part in that time. <sighs> Yeah, I have like 200 ping here. I don't know why. That I couldn't tell you. Yeah. Get to me, Diva. You good? I can't see anything here. How come when I'm Reinhardt, that don't that don't work out like that? Oh crap! Cool. <sighs> wow, don't take a while. We have a Sigma. Did you switch from Ryan? Or has he been Sigma this whole time? He was Sigma the whole time. Right side, it's like... Stay on point, stay on point. Like... Dude, man, how many times is she gonna hit this ult? He's low, he's super low. Post. 
Stay on the car, stay on the car. Wow. All right, man. I'm gonna call it. Like, I can't play with 200 ping apparently. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, I'm right here. It starts. Okay. Now. Cool. Yeah, no, it's fine. I'm gonna see. Maybe I just need to wipe my goddamn computer. Because ever since I fucked with the printer, it's I've been having network issues. Do anything this weekend? Anything fun? To me? Yeah, you. Yeah. No. I don't know. Um. Uh, Courtney was talking about wanting to go to a uh, some weird festival where they serve you grilled cheese. Assuming out of a food truck. I don't know. <laughs> I'm assuming out of a food truck. Will you test me back? I doubt it. Whoa. Did they update Bumble? This is weird. Respect, understanding, patience, support, being each other's best friend. <laughs> all right. You mean all the things she's not going to give? I love it. Dude, I hate seeing that shit. What's up, sister? Oh, God. New. Why, did I press a new to that? Very realistic. Done with Bumble, we're gonna put you down. Let's work on my questions. How are you doing, sis? Ugh, you're doing good, old. Alright, let me get these questions down on paper. Send them to my.
I'm just looking for my best friend. My best friend. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Dude, I like all the super basic ones where, like, a boss. I want Everybody somebody who's kind, me. loyal, treats me like a princess, <laughs> and all the fucking shit. And you're just like, what the fuck are you like where you have to have literally all of those things or else it doesn't work out? It's weird. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's like, can can someone just just be there? <laughs> like, like, how about just, just being there? That's a good one. <laughs> I'm just uh, right. <laughs> you know, like, I'm not even asking for a lot. I'm just asking for someone to just be there. Like, is that chill? Like, don't complain too much, I guess. <laughs> what are the steps you go through, comma, what is your process, question mark? What are some of the sacrifices you made? Question mark. You know, string cheese is a lot better one. That's a weird thing to say, but I don't know how it's to... a weird thing to be true. Taste it more. I'm gonna go get my cheese and put it in the microwave. <laughs> no, just room temperature string cheese, man. Oh. Good. That's a weird thing. What are boss traits you can find in someone? Question mark. Can everyone be a boss? Question mark. some books comma podcasts comma or content you listen to question mark who or what inspires you question mark 
What does inspire you, Spencer? Me? Um, I would say uh, the fact that I have friends and family who really give a shit about my ideas. And if, if that doesn't, if that stops, if that fails to inspire me, then I have chosen a life where I didn't value my friends or family anymore. Living knowing that people like you, my mom, Brandon, <laughs> Serla, you know, the people who give value and meaning to the things I say, y'all give shit about me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I have a very small friend circle and it's it's only getting smaller. <laughs> you know, and for some odd reason, it's still you guys, so I guess I'm keeping y'all. Number 10. Being a boss mom, comma, what does that mean to you? Question mark. That's a pretty good lineup. Surprise myself. Damn, homegirl. This is what you wore in public? I'm glad we're friends. That's dead. Damn, I look good in this picture. Hey, you guys still look cute? Yeah. Been 11 minutes. It's about to <laughs> nice. questions I'm doing like so many interviews this this Monday it's ridiculous and I gotta get Jessica's birthday present <laughs> do you <laughs> <laughs> it's like um it's a real you, question do you do you I mean do you I don't, I don't, I don't think that you do. <laughs> I mean, do you?
Oh, yeah, so how, how's Jessica's uh, health things going? Uh, I'll probably tell you more about it off stream. She's uh, fully recovered, really. Well, not fully, it's hard to say, but. It's, um, it's been a month, so uh, four to six weeks. She's uh, she's doing much better. And she's uh, she's she's gonna Good. be getting back. Yeah, she's gonna be getting back into the swing of like uh, more exercisey stuff, I guess, and more exercising movements. And hopefully, she can do get back to interesting. Yeah, because we were we we began we started running in the beginning and then you know things stuff reasons. Okay. Yeah, but I'll tell you more about it. Cakes. Cakes. Cakes are always involved. Cakes. On existentialism is that what we're talking about? Hey, hey Siri. Uh huh. Define escapism. Escapism means the tendency to seek distraction and relief from unpleasant realities, especially by seeking entertainment or engaging in fantasy. Hell yeah. Thanks, <laughs> thanks, Siri. <laughs> That's a good one. So when I was that sounds like somebody I know. I know a few people like this. So I um. So, I was, I, my original podcast was, uh, supposed to be about, um, my friend's interest in design, video games, and, yeah, it was advertising, video games, and languages, and uh, I'm giving everyone three topics, and then making them talk about them and choose the best one. And uh, she was like, well, she changed advertising to design. And she said the other two languages and uh, the second one I said, gaming, was because of escapism. And really, it was because of sociology. But how she was understand how she was trying to translate it, because she's Japanese, it was like, she was saying sociology. And I was like, she was like, you know, when like people are trying to like run away from their problems. And I was like, escapism? And she was like, she didn't mm -hmm. know what that was. And I was like, wrote it down. And I was like, is that what you're talking about? So then like, I had to like look it up right now. And yes. So now I'm switching her topics to sociology, escapism, and uh, we're just escapism, really. It sounds like a blast. It's going to be an interesting conversation. It's going to be an interesting conversation. I want to send her the questions. I was going to send her the questions early so she can, you know, practice her English and stuff. God damn, Sue. It's 18 minutes. It's like 19 minutes right here. I'm about to study Japanese. Dang. Dude, what's wrong with your guys' writings? No, I, I I gotta I gotta queue up. I gotta. What time is it? I didn't, I thought we were just gonna play some games. Sue, you still there? Yeah, you're here. All right, cool. Uh, 
I'll stick around until we get a cube. Usually, I'll, I was I thought we were gonna get one eventually. You know, you about to bounce? Yeah, I was about to dip because I, you know, it's it's the time I'd have to. I usually go. I usually log off now. I thought we was gonna be in a game. I th I really thought we was gonna be in a game by now. You know, but I'll stick around for you. I'll stick around over time. You can go ahead and go if you need to. I understand. No problem. All right, all right. You said it. Let's get on out of here. My student booked me for 9 a.m. So I have about an hour and a half of tasks I have to do. So that puts me at like 4 a.m. to go to sleep. Ooh, cool life. All right. Let's catch let's catch up again soon, all right, Sue? Thanks for hanging out. All right, woman. Yeah. Give me on out of here. All yeah. right, take it easy. Yeah. Achoo. I'll catch you later, man. All right, later. Laters. All right, guys. Um, it's been real and it's been cool, but it hasn't been real cool. Just kidding. Um, I had a really good time. Sue, thanks. Good night, sister. Enjoy your homework. Thanks, everybody. I know I wanted to stay up a little longer. I was on for like an hour and a half. Um, I've been working on my podcasts here. They've been fantastic, guys. I've been having a really good time. Uh, I, I found I found my stride, you know. Whatever it is you do in your life, man, just, you know, hold on to the people that care about you. You know what I mean? Like, like do the right thing, you know. <laughs> Have yourself a great rest of your night. It's time to go to sleep, and I'll see you. I'm doing my IRL stream. That's what it is. IRL stream tomorrow. Shibuya. Catch you guys tomorrow. Um, is there a raid? Who am I raiding? Who am I raiding? Everybody here is famous. Yeah, they don't need me. Everybody on my thing is hella famous. All right, guys. Catch y'all later. Where's my... Where's the... The... The go to sleep button. Where's the button that makes... That does the thing. Alright, uh, whatever. I'll catch y'all later. Mm -hmm.